Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are creating a cute privacy wall for our mobile home and we only paid for the screws and the Danish oil. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers and welcome if you are new. I am Becca. I'm a wife and mom to three. My husband and I purchased a 1976 mobile home off of Facebook Marketplace and we've been slowly remodeling it here on my channel. I like to post content around the remodel, cleaning, cooking, and just lifestyle type content. If you like content like that, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you be a part of our community here. So this video starts off a couple of months ago in the spring when the weather wasn't terribly cold, I decided that I needed to do something with the front of my mobile home. I didn't like how it was and you can see into my glass door from my neighbor's parking spot if I didn't have any curtains up. I go through phases where I want curtains and where I don't want curtains on the door so I figured I needed something permanent in this area. My intentions with the landscaping around my mobile home was to one, cost the least amount out of pocket as possible and I wanted to be able to decorate for the holidays and I knew I needed to create some specific areas dedicated to that in order to keep up with it. I struggled last year to place decor outside whereas with my old house I had a huge wraparound deck and a huge front yard that I was able to put up yard decor for the different seasons and just a ton of spots to hang things. I hope that makes sense. So I saw on Pinterest a pallet wall and I thought why couldn't I do that out front? So I did what I do with any spark of an idea and I go to Colt to see if he can make it work. So he did. He started off with breaking apart pallets and creating four long boards that would go from the top of my deck to the ground. And if you could see, he was holding them together the same way that he made the frame for our raised garden beds, just with another piece of wood screwed together. What's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling round the side in the corner of my glass. Boy, what's your style? What you drinking? What's your vibe? I've been feeling round the side. Once the beams were in place, I went ahead and started cutting down the wood pallets to 30 inches each. Once the boards were cut to size, we screwed them into the wall and we used a piece we had already cut to space the boards out. So we would screw a board in and then space it with another piece of wood so it had the same spacing all the way up. Before moving on to the next board, Colt would put a level on top of the board he had just screwed in just to make sure it was straight and level all the way up.
while he finishes the wall, I worked on this little area on the side of my deck. My plan was to till it up so we can start the three mini beds I now have, which hold my green beans and ginger snap peas, which I'll show you guys in my garden tour, which is coming real soon. We put down the weed control lining and black edging, and I plan to fill in between the beds with rocks. I had a few situations where I found free rocks on the marketplace, and they ended up going to other people before I could make it to pick them up. So I'm thinking I'm just going to need to purchase some rocks because now weeds are growing through and it's starting to look bad. So I do plan on adding rocks around the beds. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. I didn't get much footage of me sanding because my phone overheated. The humidity on this day made it feel like you were being licked when you stepped outside and you can see by my disgusting sweaty back just how hot it was outside. I don't know how everyone looks so put together on their channels during projects because I'm over here in old crusty clothing and sweating like a beast while I do my projects. Once I was done sanding, I went over the wall with Danish oil. This was the first time I had ever used this product and I'm in love with it. I didn't even know it existed until I read about it in a gardening group. I plan to do this same process to the outside of my raised beds and a little bit goes a long way with this product and you just have to work really fast but it really just brought out the wood and looks so pretty to me. I cannot wait to do this to all of my raised beds. As of right now we are currently at 18 raised garden beds that we made around my mobile home and we still are making more. We don't know We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me
it ended up turning out great and I thought I was just going to slide wood slabs in the cracks and it would be good but they drooped down especially if I put a planter on them so of course I went back to Colt and he thought of an idea where he screwed small chunks of wood as a support he made like little shelves and he made sure to screw them about a half inch forward on the wood slab so that way it could slide through the cracks and then from the other side of the wall he put screws through the back side so that way we didn't see the screws and we didn't crack the wood i really hope that makes sense During a windstorm, the ladder fell over and chipped my paint and dented my siding. So I'll be digging out my paint soon and touching that part up. I know a lot of you are asking for the paint color and the code is faded now and I really can't read it. I'm going to try to see if I can find old footage that showed the code before it faded in my shed. But if you're trying to paint your house this color, the color is from Dutch Boy. I picked out blue from the Dutch Boy brand and I bought the cheapest outdoor paint that Menards had and they were able to match the color. So if you're looking for this paint, start with Dutch Boy and find the blue until I can get you the code.
I haven't finished this wall or any of my landscaping, but I knew if I waited for that, then you guys would never get a video. I just put the little lawn knickknacks I had lingering around from my son on the shelves for now, and he loves to stare at them and rearrange them. I plan to have Colt drill holes in the shelves, and I want to put in those solar disc lights, so that way at night, this wall will light up. So that is all for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a comment down below saying hello, and I'll catch you in the next one.